Well, I wonder if you can think back to a moment in your life, a surreal moment, a moment when you look back and think, did that really happen? The Last Supper must have been an incredibly emotional meal. Jesus is sharing some, some lovely words. They're having a lovely celebration meal together, spending time together. Um, and then the followers make amazing promises to, to Jesus. And Jesus is also talking about the disciples falling away, all these emotions going around this meal. And, and then they leave. And, they left the city, they head out to the wards of the Mount of Olives, to the Garden of Gethsemane. I imagine this had been done before, this wasn't a new place to go. Uh, Jesus and his followers were in a familiar place, a place they had gone before. I wonder if it was a place where Jesus often went to pray when he was in Jerusalem. Whatever, as the disciples sleep, Jesus prays. And of course, Jesus' distress grows as the evening wears on. Surely those with him had no idea what was about to happen, the chaos, the confusion. Looking back, the disciples must have wondered, did that all really happen? But of course, this was a moment when Jesus stood firm, the moment when he chose the way of the cross. He chose obedience to his father, chose us and his love for us over his own safety. But sadly, of course, it was also a moment when we get to see betrayal, and fear, and cowardice, confusion, desertion. And I guess if we had been there too, we probably would have been people showing one of those things, betrayal, fear, cowardice, confusion, desertion ourselves. But let's read this amazing story from Mark, chapter 14, verses 32 to 52. Mark 14, 32 to 52. They went to a place called Gethsemane. Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took Peter and James and John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here, keep watch. Going a little farther, he fell to the ground and he prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned to his disciples and he found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And once more he went away and prayed the same thing. And when he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Enough, the hour has come. Look. The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Just as he was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, appeared. With him was a crowd armed with swords and clubs, sent from the chief priests, the teachers of the law and the elders. And now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Lead him away under God. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Rabbi, and kissed him. And the men seized Jesus and arrested him. Then one of those standing near drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Am I leading a rebellion, said Jesus, that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I was with you teaching in the temple courts. You did not arrest me. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. And then everyone deserted him and fled. A young man wearing nothing but a linen garment was followed, was following Jesus. And when they seized him, he fled naked, leaving his garment behind. Watch and pray so that you will not fall in temptation. Watch and pray so that you will not fall in temptation. In the garden, in these moments, we get a glimpse of very human Jesus, full of anguish about what he's about to face. Three times he pours out his heart in great vulnerability to his heavenly father. Abba, Father, Please take this cup, but not my will, your will be done. But Jesus will have to face what is to come alone. As he predicts the disciples, the one he loves, the ones he loves, the ones he's invested so much time in, the, one who made, the ones who made promises uh, just a few hours earlier, they can't even stay awake and watch with him. 
And then chaos unfolds in the darkness. There's that famous kiss of the betrayal. And then Jesus is seized and everyone, everyone deserts him. They scatter. If we are followers of Jesus and we are disciples, well, then as disciples, we will too face darkness. We will too face Gethsemane moments, moments of stress and anguish. And the question from this passage comes to us, how will we respond in those moments? Like the disciples, will we say the right thing, make the right promises, but then when darkness comes, will we fail and run away, run away ashamed? Or like Judas, when Jesus fails to meet our expectations or something seemingly better or easier comes along, will we be quick to betray him? Or in the darkness, in the stress, in the hard moments, will we keep watching and praying, stay alert? And then we will discover that Jesus is with us, that he has gone before us into the darkness and has come out the other side into glorious resurrection light. So if these days are dark for you, if you're going through a dark situation, dark time, keep watching, keep praying, stay alert, knowing that Christ has gone before you and Christ will be with you. The story as it unfolds shows us that Jesus faced the worst horrors. the very worst that humankind could throw at him. But he came through the other side. He came through the other side for you and for me. Let's pray. Father, we're horrified at the way the disciples deserted you, even the way they slept when you needed them, the way their words didn't match up with their actions. But if we're honest, we recognise that we too would surely have been like them. Afraid, scattered, asleep and not alert. But Father, we thank you that your Lord Jesus went through with this. That he chose the cross for us. He's gone through the darkness and out through to the other side to resurrection light. And We thank you that he comes to live with us now. May we be people of courage who even in the darkness will know and trust that resurrection light will burst through. Help us, we pray. In the name of the risen Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Where my flesh is weak And my heavy soul would sleep Savior, keep me watching and praying When my eyes grow dim And I'm fooled by the lures of sin Savior, keep me watching and praying
心。